नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ द चैप्टर मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट दे आर हंड्रेड एंड एटीन एलिमेंट्स एंड दिस हंड्रेड एंड एटीन एलिमेंट्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स एंड मेटेलॉइड्स सो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स In this video, we will be learning about the properties of non-metals. So, these are some examples of non-metals. One is sulfur, another is phosphorus. See the symbol is written P, which is phosphorus. Okay, this is non-metal. Next one, the black color which you will see that is carbon. Okay, and this one is bromine. So. Sulfur, phosphorus, carbon, bromine, oxygen, etc. These are all non-metals. There are 118 elements which are found in nature. Out of this, 22 elements are only non-metals. Okay, only 22 elements are non-metals out of 118 elements. non metals may be solid liquid or gases what are the examples of solid non metals the examples of solid non metals are carbon sulfur phosphorus okay the spelling of sulfur it can be this or the spelling of sulfur can be s u l p h u r what are the gaseous non metals the gaseous non metals are oxygen hydrogen nitrogen What is what is the liquid non-metal? The liquid non-metal is bromine. So non-metals may exist as solid, liquid, or gases, whereas metals mostly exist in the form of solid, except mercury, which was liquid. So uh, I told you that out of hundred and eighteen elements, there are only twenty-two elements which are non-metals. Out of these twenty-two elements, ten non-metals are solid, one non-metal is liquid, and the remaining eleven non-metal are gases. So there are ten solid non-metals, one liquid non-metal, and eleven uh, gaseous non-metal. Now let us see the properties of non-metal. we have read that metals are malleable in nature what is malleability the property which allows the metal to be hammered into thin sheets is known as malleability non metals are not malleable they are brittle in nature what do you mean by brittle brittle means a matter that shatters and break into pieces when they are pounded means when you uh, try to beat them with hammer they will break into small pieces so they are brittle in nature they are not malleable okay how will you understand this carbon carbon is a non metal carbon is found in many forms okay like uh, carbon is found in many forms like charcoal coke coke we have read no the coke is a purest form of carbon graphite diamond etc coal is mainly what carbon now you all see the pencil lead okay the lead of your pencil the lead of your pencil is a form of carbon which is called graphite the the ash color lead of the pencil is what it is a form of carbon which is called graphite now if you take a pencil lead okay and if you beat it with hammer then what will happen it will break into pieces can you make thin sheets of pencil lead you cannot make thin sheets of pencil lead okay so car it is a uh, carbon is what non malleable but exception is there exception is what diamond diamond is a form of carbon and it is very hard it it will not break easily okay next is ductile most of the metals are ductile in nature ductile means they can be drawn into wires thin wires can be made okay 
but non metals are not ductile that means we cannot make wires of non metals they what will happen they will break when you stretch them okay suppose sulfur sulfur is a non metal if you try to uh, they will stretch them what will happen they will break into pieces and they will not form wires so non metals are non malleable and non ductile they are what they are brittle in nature they break easily when you hit them next the next property of non metal is the luster or shine shiny appearance metals are usually lustrous in nature right but non metals they are non lustrous they are dull that means they are not shiny okay uh, for example sulfur you see sulfur the yellow color sulfur okay so this is a non metal which is not shiny they are dull in nature but there is a exception the exception is iodine iodine is a non metal which is having luster you can see it is shiny in nature so it is lustrous in nature also you know carbon uh, carbon another form of uh, diamond is a form of carbon so diamond is very much lustrous so these are the exceptions generally they are dull they are non lustrous except iodine and carbon so these are the physical properties of non metals non metals are usually soft except diamond they are they are usually very soft they are not very strong okay except diamond diamond is very hard in nature next non metals are brittle which i have already discussed now they are non malleable and non ductile and they break into pieces when you hammer them non metals are dull not shiny except iodine and diamond non metals are insulators what do you mean by insulators insulator means it will not conduct heat and electricity metals are good conductors of heat and electricity but non metals are poor conductor of heat and electricity but there is a exception exception is diamond is a non metal which is a good conductor of heat and graphite is a form of carbon which is a non metal is a good conductor of electricity okay so graphite and diamond diamond is a good conductor of heat which is a form of a non metal carbon and graphite is another form of carbon element graphite is the that one which you use in pencil lead okay that is a good conductor of electricity non metals are mostly colored gases however they can be solid or liquid as also non metals have got odors or pungent smell chemical properties later we will discuss another point is non metals are non sonorous non sonorous means they will not produce a ringing sound when we will strike them they will not produce sound metals when we will strike them they produce a sound but non metals they do not produce a sound for example if i drop a coal piece of coal coal is what carbon if i drop a piece of coal into the floor we will not hear a ringing sound they will not produce any sound okay and next is non metals are usually very soft and they can be easily cut into pieces except i have said except the diamond so this is a table which is showing the difference between metals and non metals okay metals are lustrous first is appearance you see the property metals are lustrous non metals are non lustrous metals are usually hard except sodium and potassium non metals are usually soft except diamond malleability metals are generally malleable non metals are non malleable ductility metals are generally ductile and non metals are non ductile heat conduction metals are good conductor of heat and electricity and non metals are poor conductors of heat and electricity so write this table in the copy 
so i am just uh, giving you one question this question you will write in the copy the question is state to reason to believe that copper is a metal and sulfur is a non metal so again i am repeating the question the question is state to reason to believe that copper is a metal and sulfur is a non metal okay so thus in this video we have learnt about the physical properties of non metals we will continue in the next video about metalloids and what are the uses of metals and non metals thank you namaste bye